Hold on. Huh? Because this is with the the minerals was okay. with uh, okay. but, Tim Rates. Mm -hmm. That name's not familiar with me, but it was he's in not, 2007. He's not any longer with you guys. He okay. left in 2009. Okay. Okay. And this is the uh, the actual subpoena that we had subpoenaed to Mr. Rates to come to court. Okay, so you you had a lawsuit? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you were named in the will, or are you contesting that you should have been named no. in the will? No, we were not named in the will. We are... We are the actual heir. The oh. Descendants. Oh, of the descendants. Oh, got it. Okay. The original. The original beneficiary. So, so the will didn't name any any of you? Not any of us, no. We okay. weren't born, so it's impossible. Oh, got it, got it. Okay, so... Yeah. But I wanted to show you here, just here. Oh. Uh-oh. Oh, okay. So y'all killing her desk a little bit. <laughs> we got it, we got it. That's okay. Because, yeah, you know, we've given the paperwork to, actually, it should be, it's in your system. This was um, where you guys were um, classified as the defendants in this lawsuit. <coughs> so this is the actual entity. Okay, so I guess, let me see, let's just go on a second. What was the outcome of this? What What did the courts tell you? That we were the heirs to John Hazelwood and that J.P. Morgan Chase is the successor of Marshall National Bank, oh, yeah. trustee for okay. that estate. And that was it? No one else contacted you? No. How long ago was that? Uh, we've been approaching the bank ourselves since 2008. And no one has helped you at all? Nope. No, actually they refused. So we're here to, you know, basically procure, procure, procure the assets of John and Marshall. We can't find the account. That's the problem. Oh, well, that's impossible. Because you have no. to you have to uh, agree and accept to be the successor trustee. Okay. Can I? Um, and well, actually, what you can do is get in touch with the executive office out of Houston, the executive office out of um, New York. Because all of these documents that I have, yeah. it's already uploaded in you guys' system. So if you got in touch with Eugene Coward, which I don't think he's there anymore. So how are you going to get all of them? Well, whoever, Somebody who's ever replaced them. I mean, you, you would have to know how to network within your own institution. I'm not sure right. how to do that because you, you work here. So what you could do is you could call Eugene Coward. Okay. And who's ever in his place, I guess you would speak to them. Now, over at the oil and gas division, you have Rosie Calvino who is uh, also overseeing the mineral okay. for this estate. So let me call Rosie. Maybe she can shed some light of why they've refused to help you. Right? Is that basically where this is going? Yes. Yes. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm yes. so sorry yeah. that I'm, yeah. like, so That's confused. Okay. No, 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 but you're no. telling me that you it's, have it's an account fault. here it's and that your, your well, heirs. I believe you. I believe you. Well, it's coming up. So it, the, count is, the count is here. So It's out of this account. The only one we have is out of... Uh, Burnett, Michigan. Burton. Burton. We want to. We want full disclosure of the actual trust ledger. Right. In regards to From this the estate. Time that they took over successor. Sure, sure. That's so. And if you have the proper documentation that you obviously say you have, as far as a court order ordering J.P. Morgan to release that, we we have to release no, no, it no, to no, you. No, 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 no. We have a court order stating that, that J.P. Morgan is the trustee. Okay, of we of, of the, the estate. estate. Okay, we have the court order also establishing who we who are as, as heirs. heirs. Okay, so from there, mm -hmm. it has to be released. That's there's still a lot of red tape around that though. How? Um, because we you went say to, red we, tape? we went to New York, all right, and the only reason we didn't get it in New York because it wasn't on their docket. But it's on text because it wasn't a, a court order. That was the decision was here in Cass County. Yeah, not in New York. But still, like, I mean, it's a court order. I mean, right. the laws that's, are that's, not that's, that's, so, Okay, so, so you, you understand, understand that. that. Yeah. You they understand said, that. So they're saying that they didn't have to honor it because it wasn't through their state. Oh. Yeah, but see, it's, it's 
in but this state. It's, it's in Texas. Got, right? it, got it, got it. Okay. Um, so how, let me let me um let me do something for you. You probably had to travel a long while to get here, and I apologize. Michigan. For that. Michigan. Oh, you guys have come from Michigan? Yes. Mm -hmm. Not a problem. Piece of paper. Just take that. This one? Yeah. You said Rosie Calvino? C A L V I L L O. And Eugene Howard out of Houston. C O W A R T. Okay, so let me. Uh, this is concerning the Hazelwood estate? Yes, right? John Hazelwood estate. Howard with a T, not a D. Oh, yes. 